Welcome back to Lane's ED announcement. We continue our cargo planning with a basic stowing exercise and some examples of container being loaded. Now let us look at a schematic of a vessel, a typical vessel. This show all the tiers below deck gets deeper as you approach the middle base because of the curvature of the vessel as you can see the base or oh, they are numbered for the half for the 20s and the 40s being indicated now let's look at A bay of an outline plan or a pre store. A typical bay of an outline plan, we will be storing some containers similar to this bay six in the following example. Now, as we said before, it's basic stowing so it's from scratch very simple so here we are asked to store the following containers on the given bay which is bay six below here we have six rows five tiers and we are asked to store 10 20 foot containers 10 40 foot drive on or dv containers we are also asked to store nine 40 foot I cube. It is important that we label the bay each time to prevent us from making simple mistakes. The key we are going to use today is we are going to use green to represent the 40 foot DVs and blue to represent the 40 foot I cubes and red for the 20 foot. The X will be placed in the after side of the vessel as we had stated earlier in another video. Now let us look at the first thing that we need to do. Label the B always. Six rows, five tiers. Then we will begin by first stowing the 20 foot containers after we have put on our rows we have found a midship and we have 135 to starboard and the 020406 to port and we also have labeled the tiers remember people it's very important to always label your bay it's a guide and it helps you when you want to um indicate your cell addresses so it would be like a 050204 it's very easy guides you and prevents you from making mistakes now let us first store the 20 foot containers why would we do that 20 foot containers must be stored first once they are on a plan because they can go on top of each other but they cannot go on top of a 40 and so we make every effort to put them on the vessel first now 20 foot containers can be stored in various ways the key is once they correspond with another in forward and after side of the vessel you are correct but they can be stored in any way that your mind 
conceive and want to allow you any how you want to put them. Just ensure that they correspond. Now here's a graphical display of a 20 foot container being loaded below deck. Now these are being loaded individually below deck on the port side as indicated by the row label for each cell. As you can see the 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 6, 0, 8, 10. Another example of a twin lift operation where two 20 foot containers are being loaded at once, one forward, one aft. This is very good for the productivity of the crane. Since one lift, with one lift, you are doing two moves. This always enhances your productivity. Next, we will store the 40 foot DV containers in the bay. Again, we these can be stored basically anywhere as indicated the height of each of these cells are eight feet six inches and so they can be stored all the way up to tier 10. in this scenario we have just placed them um all over the place basically anywhere now let us look at storing 40 foot i cubes now here is where we have to be careful so when when you store one i cube because it is now nine feet six inches you will lose a particular height you will not be able to go up to the final tier below deck right below the arch cover because of the height and so it is always best not to spread your i cubes it is best that you consolidate them consolidate them putting them together as best as you can once you're not breaching any port limits or anything like that now this completes the actual storing of 10 20 foot containers 10 40 foot dv and 9 40 foot iq i would like you to take this same example but store the bay differently for practice so you get used to adhering to all the possible limitations that might be there Now, let us look at some graphics now. 40 foot container being loaded, and this is a full container because our next slide is a discharge operation where the productivity, we try to increase the productivity by using a strategy of loading, um, unloading two empty containers. When we're doing this, care must be taken precaution must be taken to ensure that the twist locks are in good condition very good condition because we cannot afford to be trying to be productive and at the same time causing accidents or incidents on the vessel which are which is going to basically delay the completion of the vessel so please join me next time for more basic store. We are going to continue this. So remember, join Lane's ED enhancement. Subscribe, like, and share. Look out, as I said, for other videos coming shortly we will we're going to be looking at more stowing exercise 
the difficulty will increase as we proceed. See you next time.